everyone, my name is Bridget, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to show you guys my reptile enclosures. Now I did a Meet My Pets style video about eight or nine months ago, and I did briefly show their enclosures in that video, but everything is different now. Every single aspect of the animals and their enclosures has changed. I've also gotten quite a lot more reptiles since that video, so there are gonna be quite a few new enclosures that you may have never seen. I definitely need to do an updated Meet All My Pets video, and I will, but for today, I just thought it would be fun to show you my reptile enclosures. I'll be showing you what they live in, how I have it all set up. I'll be talking about lighting and heating and everything else, do a little bit of an enclosure tour. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You guys know the drill, how these things go. I'm gonna show the enclosures. So if you wanna see my reptile enclosure tours, then just keep watching. Phoebe's enclosure is a custom enclosure that measures 48 inches by 24 inches by 18 inches. It has acrylic doors on the front with cute little bearded dragon door pulls as you can see. Here is her name tag that has her type as well as her birth date. This is the hot side which consists of a very large piece of Mopani wood that she can either climb on top of or climb underneath for enrichment and then a very large river rock there for basking. Her cool side is here as you can see and it consists of a very very large custom cave that my husband built for her. It has a blanket hanging out of it because she's brew mating right now. Here's a little bit of foliage for enrichment and then another large river rock there in the center for UVB consumption. Her flooring is a textured shelf liner, which is not very beautiful, but it is definitely very functional. There is her UVB, which is a 24 inch Arcadia 12% T8 linear bulb fixed in the center. Her heat light is a Zoomed basking spot lamp in 50 watts since it is inside of her enclosure. And here is her enclosure all complete. Cheeks' enclosure is the Exoterra Large Wide, measuring 36 inches by 18 inches by 18 inches. Here is his name tag with his type and birth date. This is the hot side, which consists of large limestone bricks as his basking platform that I have stacked tall with leveling stairs on either side. There's a little seed mix bowl for him. Here is his cool side, which consists of a very large custom cave that my husband built for him as well with varying levels for enrichment. I do have a video on how we made this in the cards above. And then in the front is his salad bowl. His substrate is slate tiles, and we also use a bit of eco earth inside of his cave here is his lighting situation, his basking lamp there, his UVB there in the back, and then here to the right is an LED lamp that we use for lighting purposes only, no heat. His UVB that we use there in the back is a 34 inch Arcadia 12% T5 linear bulb that's covered halfway. He rarely uses this particular space, so we do provide extra UVB. There's an LED light up here, as I mentioned, that just provides light and no heat. And then for his basking bulb, this is a Mega Ray Mercury Vapor Bulb in 100 watt, with the screen cut open to give it a deeper penetration. He has MBD, so we don't want to skimp on any of the UVB. And for a little bit of extra security for him, I have covered the sides with these very large leaves so that he feels a little bit more private and safe. And there is the completion of Cheeks' enclosure. Indy's enclosure is the Exoterra Large Low, measuring 36 inches by 18 inches by 12 inches. Here is his name tag with his type and birth date. We have covered the top of the screen with aluminum foil tape just to hold in some of that humidity. Here's the hot side of his enclosure, which consists of a cave with lots of rocks and foliage for enrichment. Here's the cold side, which consists of another cave with more foliage and a large branch for enrichment as well. 
His substrate is a mix of eco-earth and forest floor with very large leaf litter all over the top. You'll also see that he has a very large water bowl in the center. For his lighting that you see, this is a low wattage appliance bulb lamp on a dimmer just to up the ambient temperatures. And here is Indy's enclosure all complete. I've also added this little pin to his doors for added security to keep the doors from opening and I also use this little accessory that comes with the Exoterra enclosures since ball pythons are escape artists. Ollie's enclosure is the Zilla 40 gallon breeder tank that measures 36 inches by 18 inches by 16 inches. I have her on a little pull out trolley here as you can see. This is her name tag that also shows her type and birth date. Again, the top is covered with aluminum foil tape just to hold in the humidity. Here's the hot side of her enclosure that consists of a very large cave as you can see and tons of foliage. She also has these very, very large branches there in the center for climbing purposes, as well as a very large water dish in the center. As you can see, the substrate is the same Eco Earth forest floor and large leaf litter. And then the cool side here is another cave with more foliage. And here is Ollie's completed enclosure. Her lighting is the exact same situation, an appliance bulb lamp on a dimmer to bring the ambient tips up. For security on her tank, it does have these really nice clamps there, but I still use a pin in the front just to keep the lid from sliding out. Now I'll explain their heating situation. I use heat tape for both of them and they are controlled by the Herbstat 2 thermostat, both set at 94 degrees. And these are the dimmer switches for both of the lamps. Twigs' enclosure is the Exoterra Medium Low, measuring 24 inches by 18 inches by 12 inches. Here's his name tag that shows his type and his birth date. A little bit of an overview of his enclosure. As you'll see, I do have backgrounds there on the sides. They are on the outside, they're not on the inside, and they are just consisting of large stone rocks. I have them linked down below. Here's his hot side, which consists of a tree hide there that also has a vine attached to it that stretches all the way to his cool side. He absolutely loves climbing this thing. There on the cool side is a cool and humid hide with Eco Earth inside, as well as his calcium dish. Here in the center is just a big random large fake branch with huge rocks there as well for enrichment. In the front left corner is his toilet area with paper towels. In the center here are two pieces of large slate tile. This is where he eats. And then there to the right is his water dish. The substrate that I use for him is Eco Earth with tons of leaf litter for added texture as well as plenty of rocks and stones. This gives him a whole lot of enrichment. And there is Twigs' enclosure all complete. Branch's enclosure is the Exoterra Small Low that measures 18 inches by 18 inches by 12 inches. Here's his name tag with his type and birth date. Here's a little overview of his enclosure. Also on the sides, you'll see I have more backgrounds. They're about the same, but they are just different colorations. For his hot side here, you can see that there is a rock hide with stairs that he loves to climb a lot. There's a centerpiece decoration that we actually made and some more huge rocks. And then there on his cool side is another cool and humid hide with Eco Earth that he also uses as his toilet and his calcium dish. There he is, such a cutie. In the front left corner is his water dish, another slate tile piece there that he eats on as well. And then there to the right is another homemade decoration piece. I use the same substrate for him as I do with Twigs Eco Earth with a ton of leaf litter surrounding the place and a whole bunch of rocks and stones for a lot of enrichment. And then here is Branch's enclosure all complete.
Brindle's enclosure is a 10 gallon from Great Choice that measures 20 inches by 10 inches by 13 inches. Here's his name tag with his type and birth date. The background that I used for him is on the outside of course and it is prickly pear I believe. For his hot side you can see that I have a cork bark hide with some fake air plants. I really like the spiky look for him for some reason. There in the center is his water dish. There are a couple of big flat rocks here in the front. That's where he eats. And then here is his cool side, which has a cool and humid hide with eco earth inside and another prickly style plant there in the back. I also added in a couple of these magnolia pods for no other reason besides aesthetic purposes. His substrate is aspen snake bedding with live oak leaf litter all over the top. And there is the completion of Grindle's enclosure. For security, these Great Choice 10 gallon tanks, the lid does slide into place, but it pushes up in the center so easily, about an inch. So I added a piece of slate tile to weigh it down. And there's the boy right there. Cornelius's enclosure is the exact same 10 gallon tank that Grendel has. Here's his name tag with his type and birth date. Here's his hot side, which also has a cork bark hide covered with a very large vine. He loves to climb this and go underneath it and think he's hiding, but he's not. Here's his water dish there in the center. And then there's this floppy kind of fake aquarium plant there in the back. In the front here is a kind of flattish rock just there to give him some enrichment and there is his cold hide. It is also a cool and humid hide with eco earth inside. His substrate is the same which is aspen bedding with leaf litter. The background that I use for him is also on the outside and it is of a mossy forest with lots of branches all over. And then here is the completion of Cornelius's enclosure. His security situation is exactly the same. The lid lifts up too easily, and so I've added slate to weigh it down. And I'm guessing he heard me moving and grooving in here because he came out a little bit, and you can see a little bit of him here. Now I will talk about the heat that I have for these four guys. I have all four of them on heat tape as well, and they are all controlled by the Herbstat 4 thermostat. Twigs is set at 90 degrees, Branch is set at 90 degrees, Grindle is set at 90 degrees, and Cornelius is set at 85 degrees. Jack's enclosure is the Zilla 10 gallon aquarium with the exact same measurements. I don't have a background for him just yet, so I'm just using a white lid for viewing. Here's his name tag that shows his type and his birth date. Here's his hot side, which is another cork bark hide with a flowy vine kind of going throughout the tank. There's his water dish there in the center. His cool hide is there, which is the same as the other two snakes before. Here I have a few large rocks there in the back that is holding a climbing branch there that stretches all the way up to the front right corner. And then a random little spiky fake plant there. His substrate is the same as the other two aspen bedding with leaf litter on the top. And there is little Jack's enclosure all complete. Unfortunately, his tank doesn't have a lifting lip, so I have to keep him on foam blocks. Ugly, but functional. For his security, it has the same latch that Ollie's enclosure does, but I don't really think that he can push this up at all. So I don't put anything on top to weigh it down. He's also kept on heat tape, and I have him controlled by a Zoomed thermostat. Not my favorite, but it works. And he is set at 87 degrees. And then there he is using that branch. He's so cute. Button's enclosure is the Exoterra Mini Wide, measuring 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches. There's his name tag with his type and birth date as well. Here's a little overview of his enclosure. I have a big cork bark hide for him, and I use Eco Earth as his substrate, which of course is kept very moist for him. There's his water dish there in the front left corner. 
On the walls, I keep these vines hung up just for a little bit of enrichment as well as some extra security. In the back is the hose to his fogger and his thermometer probe. As with the ball pythons, his screen is covered with aluminum foil tape just to keep the humidity in. And I use a nano ceramic heat emitter for him. There's the thermostat probe and here is his thermostat. He's controlled by the Herbstat 1 and he is set at 90 degrees to keep a good 7 to 10 degree difference. I have a video all about Pac-Man frog heating and humidity. I'll have that in the cards for you to watch as well. And then there is Button's enclosure all complete. And before you go, here is a little clip of little Button digging in. Enjoy that little froggy butt. He is so freaking cute. I love him so much. All right guys, that's gonna be it for my video today, showing you all of my reptile enclosures and one little amphibian that I currently have. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing their setups. If you did enjoy this video, please give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on your way out. I really appreciate it. Also hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload next and I will see you in my next video. Bye.